Hey guys, and welcome to Sack Attack. My name is DSAC, and today we're going to be talking about the use of water collectors and water stills in Stranded Deep. First off, I just want to thank you for joining me in this Stranded Deep tutorial. If you are a fan of the game, check out my Let's Play series in the link above, or wait till the end of the video, and there will be more links to check it out. You have probably just started a brand new playthrough of Stranded Deep, or you've been playing for a little bit, and you eventually come to the question, well, I need to make water to hydrate myself, and I'm not sure which is the best to use between a water collector and water stills. Now, the water collector, in my opinion, is a much quicker way to make water. Unfortunately, the downside is you have to burn wood as a resource to make it happen. Um, it's very beneficial uh, to build one at the beginning of your, of your playthrough. Like I built my water collector first because it was the quickest way to get water. However, the water stills are a little bit easier to build because it only requires one bucket. However, it will take probably two to three in-game days before you'll see it completely full. Now, uh, in order to use the water collector, uh, you won't need buckets to actually build it, but you will need at least two buckets to work it. Uh, you'll put one bucket on the bottom and the other bucket goes on top. Uh, what you're going to want to do with that first bucket, however, is you're going to want to run out into the water and fill it up with, with seawater, basically. Uh, you're going to want to make sure it says bucket of seawater and not just bucket. Once you are completely full, you can throw it on the fire spit there. You're going to need a little bit of wood to get it going. Two or three pieces of driftwood is really all you need to get it completely full. I mean, if you load it up with uh, four or five pieces of driftwood, you're going to end up burning more than you need and it's going to be a huge waste. So once you light it up, you let it go. Uh, in about uh, you know a few hours in the game, you'll have water starting to collect already. Now, the other thing about the water stills, however, it does only require one bucket to build one water still. You will need another source of a vessel to pull that water out. So in my case, I'm going to use the same bucket I used here. So you pull the bucket down and you can pull it out of your inventory and bring it to your water still. If you just click on it, it will slowly deplete the water still and fill up your bucket. Uh, your bucket can only hold five charges of water, so don't overfill it or else you will waste it. Um, I like to use a mixture of both the water collector and the water stills as you can see. The water stills, like I say, it's a, it's a much slower uh, build up for the water, however, it's, it's useful to have an extra water reserve. Um, the water collector, like I said, I would go ahead and build one of those first if you have the resources to do so because it'll get water quicker. Having both though, however, gives you a nice balance where I'll use the collector to keep me hydrated and I'll use my water stills in the back here to water the gardens. Now when farming, uh, you want to make sure that you don't water your crops until you're at least one water droplet left. Uh, if you do it any more than one, you're going to be wasting the water as one charge from your bucket will fill up the whole meter there as you can see one charge. Uh, if you wait to zero, your plant may die and you definitely don't want that. So as you can see here, uh, I've got several farms built, which is really beneficial. So I mean, you do have to use one of your fruits when you find it to plant it. However, you can use spoiled fruit to plant. So save your fresh fruit for eating. If you have some spoiled fruit out there, use it for your farms. It takes about two full uh, waterings to produce one fruit, but it ends up being worth it in the long run. Another important tip to know is that you don't actually need a bucket to pull out the water from the water still. I have uh, simply here a drinkable coconut and it will work absolutely the same. Uh, you can just walk right up to the water still and collect the water. Uh, however, a drinkable coconut or a water bottle, if you can find one out there, will only hold one charge. So a bucket has five charges, coconut only one. 
So there you go. I hope this was beneficial and uh, stay hydrated out there, my friends. Thanks again for joining me on this episode of Stranded Deep. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the near future. All right, thanks again for watching. This is D-Sax signing out. We'll see you later.